Hey everybody, it's Serena Yoshi here giving you some tips and tricks for Enter the Gungeon. Credit where it's due to the users of slash r enter the gungeon on Reddit. Some of these you may already know, but hopefully you learn something new as we delve down and enter the gungeon. So the first little tip and trick is that enemies that hit you don't drop shells. As you can see this bulletkin on the far right here, I let him hit me and when I kill the whole group only two of them drop the shells. So if an enemy hits you, it doesn't drop shells. So something to keep in mind. Another tip is that the dodge roll does a small amount of damage, so you can finish off some enemies by rolling into them. And for those of you looking for an achievement, smashing into a frozen enemy will net you one. But that's pretty cold of you. Another thing not a lot of people know is that if a weapon runs out of ammo, you can throw it by holding down the fire button. They can also then be collected and used again. However, I won't recommend using this strategy to fight Gatling Goal, because as you can see, the damage is pretty poor and it doesn't really work out. Oops. Did you know that the crossbow is probably the best starting weapon in the game? It may seem slow at first with a long reload animation, but if you actually press the fire button twice, you'll go straight into the reloading and you can fire almost twice as fast. This is related to a technique known as gun snapping, where it's actually more efficient to rapidly tap the fire button than it is to hold it down on automatic weapons. This really is significantly faster, allow me to show you side by side here. As you can see, the automatic firing on the left is almost an entire round slower than the gun snapping on the right, plus the hammering of the button forces the quick reload that we mentioned with the crossbow earlier. Definitely a technique that professional gun engineers should try and employ. Whilst we're on the topic of doing things faster, you can also use the D-pad to navigate through teleporters on the map. Also, if you step on a purple teleporter after, for example, visiting the shop, you'll be teleported back to wherever it is you teleported from, so it's useful for quick trips before taking on a difficult boss. While visiting the shop, you may have also come across this guy who has a chance to spawn. Uh, if you dispose of any unwanted passive items, or especially junk that you get from destroying chests, uh, he will give you money in return for them. Uh, he actually gives you about 100 shells worth for your trash, so, you know... What? They patched it? The only helpful thing in this game they patent. No, well, apparently they've patched it. He gives you three shells now. <laughs> Did you know that a holstered gun will reload if you leave it holstered for long enough? As you see, I'll fire some shots, held the crossbow, and pull it out, and it's been fully reloaded. Which segues nicely into our next little tip, which is try not to do any shooting inside the shop. The first time you do it, he'll double his prices, but the second time he'll do it, he'll pull out his shotgun and will very, very quickly murder you. Never forget justice prevails. Whilst we're on the topic of death, I bet you never paid much attention to the clock reticle that aims at you and kills you when you die, but it's actually one of the most coolest easter eggs in the game, allow me to explain it. This is what the reticle looks like at the moment we died, and it actually shows the exact system time, which is about a minute past three in the afternoon. Now watch as the animation plays out and the clock begins to rewind. Now this is where it stops, at about 20 to three. Now here's where it all gets interesting. You are shot and killed by a bullet that literally rewinds time and sends you back to the start of your run. Hey everybody, thanks for watching my video. I want to say thank you to the people at r slash enter the gungeon for listing those tips and tricks. And if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment or even subscribe and I'll be happy to make more. Until next time, I'll see you guys down in the gungeon. Ciao!